If you were out trick-or-treating last night, then you are well aware that we are seeing a lot more mosquitoes now after Hurricane Ian. Yes, Orange County has now identified 93,000 acres that have more mosquitoes. Well, she's Marlene Martinez reports the county is now handing out free mosquito traps. Standing water pools along neighborhood streets throughout Central Florida over a month after Hurricane Ian, creating a breeding ground. You know, the mosquitoes have gotten horrible since the waters rose. Scott Martin knows because he works in the areas people left for a restoration mitigation team. <laughs> you will get eaten up a lot. That's why Orange County and the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences are handing out free mosquito traps. Did you know that mosquitoes are attracted to red and black? To folks like Ewing Kulikowski. Yep. And we lost a few of the screen on top of our back porch, so now the mosquito came in. These traps were invented in a UF lab, and the company that now sells them donated 100,000 traps to hard-hit communities. 9,000 went to Orange County. We have a big population of mosquitoes here in Orange County now because of all of the water. Orange County Extension Director Kevin Cam took us on a tour of their garden. So we have a formal garden, we have a pollinator garden here. Which was impacted by the storm too. But all back here for the hurricane was flooded. All the way up to the archway. Kevin showed us places where people could find mosquitoes in their own yards. From spots you'd expect. Yeah, you could definitely find mosquitoes also. Too. And others you might not. It's very decorative. But you, you're going to get water standing in here. That's why they set up mosquito traps in their own garden and say you could too. Just put it in a shady spot. It lasts for three months and each one covers 1,500 square feet. This is sort of our boots on the ground approach. So homeowners can just set it and forget it and be able to kill mosquitoes. In Orange County, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. <laughs>